Hey there, everybody, and welcome to Parrot Gaming Productions, aka Feathers and Friends, aka whatever in the hell I want to call it here today. Uh, so today I wanted to kind of talk to you about all of the different ribbons I can earn. On the screen here, you can see all of the ribbons that I have the availability to earn. And uh, starting from the bottom left-hand side, just like the military does, I will work my way from left to right and then go up and explain each ribbon a little bit more in depth after the fact. But the way that it works and the ranking of each ribbon, uh, the, the rankings of the ribbons basically go like this. Any weapons I use start at the bottom left hand side. Any gun ribbons that I earn are going to be the first ones out there. Then you have your objectives, the conquest, the capture, or anything like that. Long range, headshot, savior, or the avenger. Then you've got the killing spree, what I like to call Slava Ukraine the MVP ribbon, the death dealer, the purple heart, the fire team leader, the last stand, the special operations, and the soul survivor. Now, those are all the ribbons that you can earn. And yes, I can earn multiple gun ribbons in each round or what have you, and they would just pop up in quick succession. This is just what, uh, if this was just saying, if I completed every single ribbon, this is what a full ribbon rack would look like if I had won every single ribbon that I had right now. I'm working on the scavenger ribbon. I want to do a scavenger run where I pretend to be a, a scavenger and just kind of pick shit up all along and stuff like that and see where I go. So I'm kind of excited to, uh, to, to run through that. But let's dive into each individual ribbon and what it takes to earn said ribbons. So to kind of dive in to the next uh, part here is what ribbon, what, what does it take to earn each ribbon? Um, we'll start off with the objective ribbons. The objective ribbons are fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, conquest ribbon, I win a match of conquest. I destroy a cache, I get the weapon cache. Uh, you know, if I capture an objective, I get that capture. You know, I, I get the, the capture objective. Uh, to move on to the guns, um, the guns started off at five kills. Uh, I don't know if anybody was kind of paying attention to that, but if the gun kills started off at five kills per episode uh, or per ribbon, and then I moved it kind of down to three, I feel like three is a little bit better of a number out there. It, uh, you know, five is not as intense because the more that I move up, uh, I almost feel like I should go back to five, but you know, when you're pulling like 30, 50, 30 to 60 kills per round, you know, to, to arcadify the game a little bit more, I feel like three is a little bit better. I, I know that in Battlefield, which is actually where I pulled a lot of these ribbons from, or all of these ribbons from, I should say, in, in Battlefield, I think it's like four, four kills with an assault rifle or a carbine or PDW or something like that, and you earn that ribbon, and then with like a handgun. It's like two kills or something like that that gets you the, the ribbon. Um, I just kind of kept everything at a solid three because with handguns, it is still still fairly easy to get three kills. Uh, it, it's not as difficult as a lot of people think it is. Uh, you just got to be a little bit more... Uh, it's it's kind of like in Call of Duty where that guy that runs around with the Cali sticks or that runs around with the pistols, you know? there There's that little bit of extra that goes with it there. So to kind of move again from left to right, kind of going up the chain there, a long shot is, exa is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a shot that w that's a fairly decent length, uh, you know, to, to be given there. The headshot, it, I used to, I kind of did the headshot along with the gun kills where it was like five headshots equals a headshot ribbon. Uh, it took a lot more time to do the, everything, so I decided I'm just going to go with a headshot is a headshot ribbon. The Savior Ribbon is exactly what it sounds like, like if a dude is lining up an RPG and he's about to fire at us and I, you know, take him out, that's a Savior Ribbon. If I see an enemy kill my friend and then I kill that enemy, that is the Avenger Ribbon. Killing Spree is exactly what it sounds like, I, I kill three enemies in quick succession, or if I just kind of go on a, a tirade and kill a lot of people. The Slava Ukraine Ribbon is exactly what it sounds like, uh, basically with what is going on in the world as of right now, as of 6-26-2022, I know that the Ukraine has been defending itself, so I decided to say for every five enemies that were trying to take an objective back from us, I, I, I get a, a Ukrainian ribbon there. Um, the MVP ribbon is next. The MVP is just uh, at the very bottom of each. Every time you finish a round, it gives you three MVP slots. And if those three MVP slots are, are, are you know, all of me, okay, that I win those three MVP, I get the, uh, uh, I get a special ribbon, which is actually next. But if I earn one or two of those, I get an MVP ribbon. The death dealer is, uh, with the full, the four skulls there. It's basically if I've won uh, if, if I, not if I won, but if I killed 30 or more people in a match, the purple heart is if I've died in a round. The next one is the fire team leader. Uh, the fire team leader is that I'm just the most deadly member on the team there. 
Uh, the last stand ribbon is just be the last friendly on an objective and then either to capture and or destroy said objective to continue our mission to bring everybody back. That one's pretty cool. This is one that I really hope to achieve one day. It is the special operator or what I call special operations ribbon. And basically special operations is I win all three MVPs at the, at, on the final screen out there. And then to kind of talk about the final ribbon that you see there that looks a lot like the fire team leader but it's got the uh got the two little uh, stars there i'm calling this one the uh the soul survivor ribbon so on the last objective be the last friendly alive to capture the objective and win the round for your team um it, it's kind of the the coolest one out there and, and that's the one that i want to go with so uh yeah, so those are the ribbons. Those are the ones that I need to. Uh, I, I wanted to get in place. I'm looking to add a scavenger ribbon as well as a veteran scavenger. The scavenger is kill three enemies with a picked up weapon, and then the veteran scavenger is kill ten enemies with a picked up weapon. I'm looking to see which uh, which one I can use because a lot of what I'm pulling from here is the old Battlefield Three and Battlefield Four stuff out there, just because I like the way Battlefield Three did their ribbons. And uh, I'm hoping to, to find something to, to do with Scavenger because I know the resupply looks a lot like the AR. Uh, the light machine gun also kind of looks like that too. I'm just trying to kind of find something to, to fit into that nature. And uh, yeah, so I'm constantly trying to improve everything. If you if you watch some of the very, very first couple of episodes, I am now starting to play through all of the series, uh, you know, allowing myself to die more than once. Because when I originally started this, I was doing really, really good where I would self-impose one round, one life, one kit, no resupplies. And I actually did fairly good. There, there was one or two where I actually went entire rounds using one kit, you know, using just I only have seven magazines i only have one bit of heavy armor i have one life and i was able to achieve it but it it turned out to be a little bit more difficult than i, I completely anticipated um and so i, I thought that i would uh, kind of change it up to okay now i can resupply okay well resupplying helps out a little bit well i i'm not getting as many you know a lot of these little things are coming to be like you know a couple just minutes long uh, why don't I start showing full matches where I do really good? Because, I mean, that one match where I had 66 kills, which I'll put up in the uh, the little tab right now, um, you know, like that was an unexpected round that I kind of almost decided not to continue recording after that first run through. So I'm trying all these different little uh, outtakes, these little different little objectives, you know, figuring out different ways that I can do things. Like I just uh, finished a, a police run where I went around with just uh, the what they call the, the their version of the Glock, um, you know. I'm like, oh, let's play as Deadpool. Let's do a lot of these different just little ways that we can, you know, play through the round that's not just, you know, give me the M4 with the red dot, you know, with the big old magazine and then just plow through everybody. I, I like to try to challenge myself in some of these playthroughs to not only make it interesting, but, you know, because a lot of people can just grab the M4, kit yourself out with a nice big kit and then just rock and roll with it. I, I want to try to at least make some of these fairly unique enough and... I'd love to continue to, to do some of these things with it. And for some of you that may be asking why the anime girls on the front, I don't know, I've been feeling a little kawi here. Uh, I've got myself a, a very kawi mouse pad. I, I feel like they just, they, they pop better, they look nicer, and they look better. So um, for those of you that are interested as well, too, about some of the music that I play, uh, a lot of what you're hearing is... Uh, let's see here. The the one outro song, I think it's called Aim to the Head by Hunter. It's uh, just an EDM dance song. I got really into cyberpunk and cyberpunk's music, and I, I listened to them for quite some time. And then you, if uh, you hear any other music that is going on in there, it is most likely 100% the Browning. They're uh, kind of an EDM heavy metal band that I like to listen to, and I'm looking to throw a little bit of Sad But True or Enter Sandman by Metallica in there as well too, but i got to find the right places for it. So I, I hope you've kind of enjoyed uh, watching and learning about the ribbons here. I hope that uh, you like my little explanation at the very beginning of, you know, the difference between Insurgency Sandstorm to where it's not just the OG game and where I'm adding the little splashes of life and the little quality of life things here. I may redo the beginning uh, introduction just because I feel like it was a little cheeky, uh, but I will uh, I'll figure out something to do. So. I want to say thanks for sticking around if you made it this far at the final end here. Helios and Mr. Blue Nibbles III, the boys, say thank you. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, 
if you if you have any setups that you want me to use and you play Insurgency Sandstorm, drop them in the links. Uh, drop it down in, below in the comment section to say, hey, give it a try here. And I'll, 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 I'm pretty open to trying a lot of things. Pretty open to trying a lot of things. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching a little bit of play as well as learning about the ribbons and what they do and and, and how I do them with. And uh, I hope you I hope you enjoy the series. I, I appreciate your time. I'm stammering on now. I don't know what else to say, so I'm going to get back to... Uh, to entering uh, quite a bit of um, quite a bit of uh, new episodes because I think I've got six rounds that were actually really really good that I actually had a lot of fun with. So yeah, six episodes uh, in the tank, and uh, Monday you're gonna have a nice big beautiful episode drop. So I love your faces, and I'll uh, see you guys on the next episode. <laughs> Bye now.